Well, the NBA season is over, but for some of the top hoopsters in Hampton Roads, the season is just getting started. For the next month and a half, top caliber basketball is only as far as Mari High School in Norfolk. For the ninth straight year, Maury High School plays host to some of the best talent produced by Hampton Roads. Now that the NBA is over with, I know a lot of folk are trying to find something to do and this is the place to be. Old Dominion, Norfolk State, Virginia State are just a few of the in-state programs represented in this year's Seven Cities Pro-Am Basketball League, which started this afternoon in the Maury High Gymnasium. Basketball setting where, you know, you can come out, see uh, top college players, uh, top guys that play professionally overseas and just provide the community with an event on Saturdays and Sundays. Well, it's a tradition around here for, you know, people to come from, that come from all the schools around here to come play the Pro-Am, you know, play against each other. Galatia Goodhope, named the Player of the Year as a senior at Princess Anne High School, just finished her freshman year at ODU. She's playing in the league along with the rest of the Lady Monarchs team. We all decided to come and play, and our coach really supported it. Mike Scott, Kyle O'Quinn, and Kent Bazemore all played in the league at one point, and all three now play in the NBA. Scott with the Atlanta Hawks, O'Quinn with the Orlando Magic, and Bazemore with the Golden State Warriors. Bazemore returned for a guest appearance this weekend, while others are hoping to follow in their footsteps. You have Stephen Pledger that played at the University of uh, Oklahoma. You have Briante Weber, Desmond Lee that's playing at NC State. And uh, we also uh, get the league sanctioned through the NBA, which allows your NBA players to play and um, your NBA referees to come out to uh, give back to the community. The league showcases only college and pro players for the moment, but Flood thinks that may change in the near future. I want to add at least two more women's teams and, and in the future, you know, maybe, you know, do something with those high school uh, seniors that may fly under the radar and invite out some uh, college coaches to kind of, you know, get a look at those guys to try to get them uh, signed in, 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 uh, in the, on college teams. 